Hey fans and friends, here we are back at Bob's Barn Workshop. Um, so, I'm getting to put the calipers, the rotors, and the brakes back on this Envoy. And I was really wondering when I tore them off, why my brake shoes were worn like this. They're worn here, there's a little over a quarter of an inch that was hanging off the top of the rotor like this. Well apparently when I did these brakes a long time ago I don't know if it was my mistake or the auto parts store they gave me the caliper kits for an Envoy XL and apparently the XL has larger diameter brakes so they have caliper holding brackets like this that if you look carefully compare the ends hold the caliper out farther so they're out on the rim of the bigger caliper so when you go to get brakes for anything like that, I heard they did it with Chevy trucks they do it with the envoys the larger extended versions have bigger brakes in the front so make double sure you're getting the right brakes for the right place in the car so anyway back to putting this together. Alright, All right, so I got the wheel turned here out of the way, but you saw me do this in other vehicles. I make sure my rotor is nice and clean. I did put anti-seize right on the close to the rim here where that brake rotor is going to sit, because if it's going to seize on there, that's where it's going to seize. Right on the rim where that's in the center. So I'm just wiping any crap I kind of contaminated these with. I washed them the other day. You saw it in the earlier part of the video. And that guy just sits. Now, oh, one thing I wanted to mention. You see these holes that are in these hubs? I think those are provided. If your hub gets stuck on there, you can double nut a bolt, put the bolt sticking out the front, put a nut on the back side, drive it in, and it'll push that hub right out for you. So you don't need a puller. And the brake rotors themselves have threaded holes in them for doing the same thing. So that guy goes on. I need to put a lug nut on here, you big lug nut. And that's clean. That'll just help position this for us. You need a lug nut that doesn't have the cap end on it like this one does, because this ain't going on all the way. It's going to stop short, but at least it'll help. Now what we got here is uh, these guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch... I'm going to touch a little bit of anti-seize inside these threads. The bolts already have a lot on. Now these go on the face, so I've just set the bolts already in here. Oh, your st stainless steel. Make sure it gets very clean behind your stainless steel sliders. And that's where you want to put your grease behind them because what happens is if that starts to rust behind those they will expand and actually pinch the ends of the brake shoes so if you got you're trying to replace your brake shoes and you can't get the shoes to fit in they're too tight there's probably rust behind there or uh, you need to adjust those stainless steel plates so they're not jamming We be jamming. All right. All right. Torque spec on these is 110 foot pounds, believe it or not. So uh, that's also an 18 millimeter, which I thought I had right here. got a red stripe on it. Helps me find it easier anyway. Sitting on it? Alright. 
always fun when stuff hides on you. There he is. All right. Crank this up to 110. Torquematic. Torque you, torque you. Pads, 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 pads are right here. I started preparing them yesterday too. I like to put a squealer on the leading edge. And I just touched the end of these with a little bit of grease. You don't want a lot. And see, he went right in there just like he's supposed to. Just like that. Perfect, huh? So nice. Now these are where your pins go. You've got pins right here that are already lubed. Oh, I don't need the pins, I need the bolts. And here are the bolts. So, the caliper finally gets off in its hook. It drops right over. I push those pins, the shoes back. Already, so should I put NICs on these? You know, NICs help them uh, tighten too. I've seen these things seized up in the aluminum before, so get them in their position. I'm pretty sure the torque on these is pretty. I got NICs on both of those. I have to be careful not to twist them. So I'm going to put an 18 on the inside. Watch a brake hose. Pull it there. That's it. I'll check this torque spec again. Don't go by this as law. That's a long wrench. It doesn't feel super tight, but uh, I'm betting it is. All right. Well, that's the first totally done side. I got to do the other side. It's only going to be a couple minutes if you want to ride along with me. All right, we'll switch to the other side.
are again. I got the hub end backing plate, everything's torqued. Wires run, plugged back in for the sensor. Okay. My bracket with the shorter hole span for the non XL version. <laughs> Be careful of that. I got my pins out and lubed and back in. I got my anti C's on everything. This is the right bracket. So the first thing this is, this goes on and these torque to 110. So that's just a review. Uh, you don't have to watch it. Why'd you let me do that? <laughs> I gotta take this bracket back off. The rotor's gotta go on first. Duh. Alright. <laughs> it all happens. Alright. Push this around so you can see. <sighs> nice clean rotor. I don't want to line these holes up with the holes in the flange so that I can actually you could probably drive a bolt all the way through all the holes and push this off with the thingy on there but uh, just screw on a lug nut to help position that I didn't all right I should anti seize that just a dash of anti-seize right in that groove right there. That'll just help this thing not stick. You don't want it all over the faceplate though, I don't think. My socket extension didn't go far. All right, now we can put the bracket on. I'll pump this guy around here again. Get up too far. I already got my bolts in there. The bracket's been on once because you saw my screw up. She goes on just like that. Again, these are the shorter brackets for the non-XL version, remember? <laughs> I don't want to do that again. Make sure your auto store guy gives you the right parts. I don't know if I ordered the wrong parts. I don't think I did. I think I went to the store and told them what I wanted. And I got that. Now I'm going to... Snug them up. Torque is set for 110. Now before I handle them. too much here, I'm going to soak down a, a rag a little bit with rake right cleaner and clean my own hands. You may or may not be recommended, so don't take it as advice. Just what I'm doing. Don't take anything that I'm doing as legally binding. It's all just the way I'm doing it. So. Uh, Sign a mental waiver. All right, now let me see where we're at. Um, I need to load the calipers with the. Uh, I should have put it on the bracket first with the squealers. And I squeal. I mean, so what we're gonna do, like we did over there, we'll put a little bit of the green goop. Where the bracket? There it is. Carefully. You don't want to get this on the rotors. So, which I just did. Just a little bit behind that steel. And I can kind of massage it up there. Alright. And I like to spring these a little tighter than they are. Now, there is a left and a right, and you can see the split, so it has to go this way. This hook goes over the front. There's a spring on the back, so you hook it on the front. Nope, that's the wrong one. It has to go up here. I haven't done that one yet. All right, well, we'll get the other one. Duh, Bob. 
again, tighten it up just a little bit. Bend these fingers in a little bit farther. Hook it on the back. That finger comes over the front. And I just, of course, the shoes are going to hold these in position too, so. I guess I could just put the grease on the back of the, to make it simple, put the grease on the back of these. What happens is the, the rust gets behind them and expands. You know, you've seen rust expand. And it squeezes the shoes so they won't self-adjust. So there, that works probably just as good. That. Now I'm going to take just a whisk of the oil on my fingers just to help me get these guys in here today. And I'm then going to wipe them down again because I might have gotten some stuff on my fingers on there, from my fingers on there. Yeah, there's a little bit. in this area where the pad is supposed to go. All right. Now, I haven't put any uh, anti-squeal on these at all. I have stuff that goes on. Oh, these, squeal, these uh, guys also are uh, universal. They don't have any... Uh, the shoes are identical. So the little squealer goes on facing forward, the short end going forward, and I like to put it on the leading edge. And I just... You just mash it on there. Tap it on. I really should put anti-squeal on these. These are right in there. I don't know what else you call those other than squealers. Put the squealer end in first. No, oh, they want me nice. Now, I've already compressed these. If these things do squeal, all I can do is pull the caliper off. I've got this stuff that's like silicone rubber um, that you can put on those and it'll help them stop vibrating because that's all they are. They're just like singing like a reed. We're nearly there, guys. Nearly there. I'm going to put a little bit of anti-seize on my pin bolts. And up the shaft, because as I said, I saw them seize up in, inside aluminum stuff before. And that's an aluminum shoe. Or an aluminum caliper. Right A bit, whatever. Whatever makes you happy. It's always a pain when this stuff won't come apart in the future, so I'm all for it. Now this caliper has the corrosion in, in the aluminum I was talking about. So I am gonna put more goop right in there. Of course I dropped my bolt and trap. Make sure that that's free. There we go. So we can get it out in the future. Come on buddy. There he goes. Alright. I think that's an 18. Everything's 18 on these brakes. Oh no, these are 17s, excuse me. 
18s on the inside, 17s on the outside. Okay, I'm going to torque these. All right, these are torqued at 40. Which ain't too much, it's going to click real easy. Notice I'm holding the inside 18 with a open end here. Smooth just like that. All right. These are done other than putting the wheels on. So, um, it's been great hanging out and doing these stuts and brakes with you today. I just have to put the wheels on, but I want to keep it up in the air because I still have the exhaust to do. So, oh. Spindle nut. My spindle nut goes on to 103 foot pounds. All right, remember. Now I have got my socket on an impact, but never tighten these spindle nuts with an impact. I'm just running it in because it's a lot easier. Okay, that just started to draw it in. You don't want to hammer the crap out of them. And this one, believe it or not, is only 103 foot-pounds because that puts the proper load on your bearings. So I'm going to crank this up to 103. I probably won't be able to get it. I'll probably have to put this down on the ground with the wheels on to do the final torque cue because I'm going to spin everything, yeah. But I'm going to... This guy. I can't really do much. All right. I'm not going to take her down. I'm going to. Uh, I could put the wheels back on though. Because these wheels are open, they have open hubs. So I'm going to put the wheels back on and we'll finish this up. So there we go. We've got. Obviously a new rotor, new backing plate, new uh, hub bearing assembly, new brake shoes. We got new caliper brackets because they were the wrong brackets that I had. These are for the short base, not the long base. And we have new suspension, strut suspension that looked like they were going to blow. The old ones were all rusty, bad, terrible. So. Uh, Let's get this beast up on here. Now, I've got a torque rod on this which controls how much torque your, your impact rate you can put, but I'm just driving them right first. I'm going to do this. Oops, that's not right. I'm going to do this triangle pattern. Some of these lug nuts are old and a little bit burred up. I got this set on the low, but I'm going to put it on high now. Watch how this works. It just vibrates when it gets to the point where it can't go any farther. Isn't that weird? And that's all set to 100 foot pounds now. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I guess I should have painted my caliper. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, but we're done for the day with the brakes, guys. Take care. God bless. I'm going away for the holiday weekend, so I probably won't be publishing this until after Memorial Day, before my trip to Normandy. And there we are. Wheels are all on the front. Ready to come down, but I'm not going to take them down, but i got to torque the nuts and the struts. Take care, guys.